Good evening. Today we will be explaining on how to extract data from your topographic CAD file. So to start off, I'll just uh, show some PowerPoint slides on how we can proceed with this. So basically what you need to prepare is a topo AutoCAD topography file that is normally in DWG format. Um, you basically also need to have at least one AutoCAD software. In this case, I'll be using Civil 3D 2018. Even 2018 AutoCAD would be fine. So uh, once you open the file, uh, you just need to key in an EAT TXT code. Uh, it will basically prompt you with a data extraction uh, window as shown here. Just key in anything that you want. Basically, you will go back to the same file telling that this is the file that I wanted to extract to. So uh, yeah, so basically they'll just load you a loading file that they're trying to process your file you'll be prompt with uh, what kind of objects that you wanted to extract. So in this case, I'll be uh, selecting this kind of properties. Um, move on, uh, after, mo after selecting all those, basically I'll just select the layer, position X, Y, and Z. A refined data page will be prompt. Normally, I'll just press next because there's nothing much. You just want to see your uh, data. So just select where's the file that you want to output. So uh, that's you're done. So it's quite a straightforward uh, procedure. So what can you use this is that you can generate a simplified topography using Civil 3D after that. You can even do simplified quantity takeoff. So here's a demonstration of what I'll be doing. So similarly, I've already opened the cat file as mentioned just now. So you'll see that my cat file is called existing topo. Take note of this name that later this will be uh, appear in the XLS file also. So, like I said just now, what I'll do is I'll just do a TEXT, EAT TEXT. I just need to create a new data extraction. Select, I can choose whether do I want to save it using an existing, uh, to override the existing file, basically just create a new one. In this case, I'll just override. Press yes. So, you'll notice that this file name is the file that I wanted to extract. Uh, basically, you can even add multiple drawings if you wanted to. But um, on a case-by-case -case basis, you'll just be doing one file. So just load as shown in the PowerPoint slides just now. Okay, so normally by default, they will just take everything, which um, it really depends on what kind of things that you want. For our case, like I said, that I just wanted one particular point as you can see here. So I'll just select DIACR1. You might want to inspect what kind of element is that first, or basically you can just extract everything. So what I normally do is, uh, since I'm only getting points, right, I would prefer to just select blocks. So um, yeah, I'll just display all the objects that's currently in use. I press next. So by default, everything will be selected, but that's not everything that I wanted to output in the CSV file. So normally I'll just uncheck all. Uh, with the use that I'm going to do in my future videos, I will normally just use the layer and the XYZ positioning of the object. So once I click next, so basically this, this window is showing that what will your XLS file or basically your data extraction CSV file look like. You will have your name, your layer of the file, uh, element that you wanted to extract, the positioning, X, Y, and Z. There's a reason why I did this too. It will be explained in my next video. Currently, I'm just showing how to do data extraction. So uh, it's a bit irrelevant, but this is just what I'm trying to show you. So once you click next, what you will see is where do you want to in, uh, output the file? You can even choose to insert back into the drawing or would you want to output? So normally in this case, since I'm going to use it for something else, I can always just output. So where would I normally want to save is I have this. So normally I'll just save it here. So you notice that by default the, the output name will match your drawing name. So in this case I'll just I'll just do it. Lah. Once I press finish, just wait a while. So normally here what would happen is you will have uh you'll see that this file has appeared and just to show you what is inside, you can just basically press open. So remember the page that we were extracting, it shows basically exactly what will be extracted. So this one is based on the number of counts of the same element. Normally the count will be one. The layering will be the, the, the cat file layers that you will see, uh, that I will further explain next time. 
there's a reason why I did XYZ so stay tuned for my next video where I'll tell you how to use this file and re-import back to Civil 3D and get a very estimated surface for a first cut uh, this kind of surface you can use it for tendering just to get a good feel of what you wanted to do with your work site so that's all for today thank you uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe if you dislike then you know what to do um, thank you for the support if there's any more new videos that you all wanted to uh, add in uh, please tell me just write inside the comments I will uh, reply accordingly thank you